Alex, thanks for joining me. I am not used to having, this is weird, having Lady Alex in the studio with me, because you're usually like downstairs far away. Yeah, you hide me pretty well Yeah, downstairs. right. Well, and then of course she has to do that for supervision purposes. I'm the one being supervised. Okay, she's in the studio for a reason. Let me, let me set it up with what I told, I was telling you this story yesterday. There were some ladies, Hooters on the radio from the mm -hmm. Hooters Corporation, and they wanted me to show them how to do a radio show. And so my job was on air just to give them topics and here's how you talk on air, here's how you present a talk radio show. I handed them something very similar to this, the one we'll probably do next week. Okay. And they just went crazy on the air. I mean, it was three hours of three women going absolutely, I can't say the words I want to use, on the air over. But this this is from a different era, what you found here. Right. And I'm not going to react probably like your Hooters ladies did no. because I am in so many ways not a Hooters lady. Yeah. But, but this magazine from 1958, that's the whole yeah. reference point that we need. Is this from 1958? Yeah. And it's written by, it was a panel of, I think, about a dozen people. Most of them men, but there were a few women there. So some of these ideas... We're definitely not just the men coming up with these. They were told to brainstorm yeah. how young females could get a husband because the head, like the introduction on this article, mm. it's McCall's magazine, by the way, from mm. 1958, um, the American Women's Magazine, says that in the United States today, 1958, there are 16 million women over the age of 17 who are not married. <gasps> Heaven What's forbid. a big deal back then. And it follows it up with, presumably, the vast majority of them would like to be. Yeah. So okay. they now were told to brainstorm how to help these but, poor women. Okay, let's husbands. go back because we have to take a look at the era. Today, uh -huh. at your age, you're how old? 25. 25 now. You you're there. just, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, you could have lied. Women always lie about their age. I don't no, care. that's fine. That's no, good. No, but that's fine. But you're already embarking on a career. Mm -hmm. Women back then, how many options did they really have right. as far as a career was? Sure. Something. That was about it. The big typing pool before we had copy machines and things like that. Mm -hmm. So. A woman had to look toward what am I going to do to survive. There were only a few professions. It was that maybe work in a sweatshop somewhere. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, you could do some work like you could be a I teacher. Mean, house, being a housewife was still a big thing. It was yeah. becoming less of a big thing, absolutely. Um, a lot of women's movements were sort of less of the housekeeping, but the job market definitely was not big by okay. any means. And who knows how appealing it was at the same time, which this article goes to argue sure. in some ways, like maybe getting a job and making money is actually appealing. Okay. Now, have we, having said that, also, the norms at the time was, I would say the country society was much more family oriented mm -hmm. than it was right about now. So I wouldn't necessarily say that's a bad thing from their perspective back then True. that you'd want to start a family and what the specific roles were. But by today's standards, some of those things, though, I think still work yeah. today. Some of them do cross over. Um, although, funny enough, you mentioned like the starting a family yeah. and whatever, how that may or may not have worked. I don't have it marked, written down in my phone, but I did read some of the. There's 129 of them, so there's so many to read, and they're categorized, mm -hmm. like where to find your husband, how to let him know you're there, which is a mm -hmm. funny section, um, how to look good to him, how to land him, and then like the wild ideas, which they're all wild, so whatever. But one of the areas, there's contradictory things for sure, because one part does say like to get the husband um you should work in a place that is not filled with women so work around men but finding a working place that is full okay. of men which yeah. actually would probably just lead to massive sexism in that era but probably sure, it's yeah. also how you're gonna get your husband i guess sure well, okay now don't we still in, in their defense still have a problem today with how does a woman who wants to get married meet men and some people are going online and people right. do complain about online but back then, there were, there were mail order things. People would go ahead and send letters <laughs> to each other. You would meet someone through ads and then send letters to See, each other. See, this is the same thing. We talked about this earlier as well, yeah. how some of it has just kind of converted to modern day. Not all of it, for sure. Yeah. But some weird elements have converted. You mentioned that, how you would mm -hmm. answer ads. Well, now it's online, online, app, uh, yeah. online dating or, I mean, Tinder's not really that anymore. But we have mm -hmm. so many ideas for that. It's the same idea. It's just 60 years later. Um, and then there was one that I've talked about with a friend in here that she thought was reading it. She said it's super creepy that um, part of it where I had it here. Da -da -da. Well, one of the ones that said, you know, g get a dog and walk it. Well, people the still number do. one, get a dog and walk it, people which still is do. a good yeah. prominent goal to have. I agree. Sure. This is my first okay. goal. Guys still do that <laughs> today. Guys. And FYI, I talk to anybody with a dog. I don't care who you are, okay. what you look like. I talk to anybody with a dog. So now you know how to meet the lady so, Alex. Yeah. Park dog. There you go. I talk to anyone. Yeah. Um, no, this is the one. Okay, so my friend pointed out that she thought this one was kind of creepy. 
that it says um, clip out something you find in the in the newspaper and mail him a funny cartoon that means something to the both of you. Okay. That's how you land him. And she's like, that's kind of creepy. And I just went, that's sending memes. That's basically the same funny thing. YouTube videos. Again, we're just doing and it in a modern way now. Yep. It's okay. the exact same thing we do now. Uh, Is there anything there that you did think was spe- was creepy and for that time only that could not be done today? That could not be done today? And I don't mean because of technology. I mean because of hmm. social norms today. There's absolutely no way you could do that today in our society. Honestly, I, want, I almost want to say no. Like, I don't think okay. any of these work in general. So whether they were <laughs> six years ago or now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm l- listening to someone talk about my phone and like yeah. – there's ones like you could do. I would say don't do it. Like look in the census report for places with the most single men. Um, okay. Nevada, by the way, has apparently 100 men yeah. to every 100, 125 okay. men to every 100 women. What so are we thinking like, now? Alaska, Wyoming? Yeah. Okay. No, There's we just have no pla- people. Well, so okay, that's we not really going to help No, us. but don't <laughs> – isn't it true that the men currently outnumber the women here? Mm. Is that the case or is it women outnumber the men? I thought it was women outnumber men. So okay, because I know in Alaska – Clearly we're in trouble. In Alaska, it is the – women or the men outnumber the women oh, i'm pretty sure i swear here it's like a fraction of more women than men okay it doesn't make a lot of sense to me because of the um our but, basic but remember basic though order. why i hate to say this why wyoming decided to let women vote in the first place yeah. was to get women here because it was all men right that's true much. but i mean you think of our um our economy and what it's based on it's mostly yeah. not to be sexist about it but a lot of men-based fields sure between, whether it's ranching or oil field or whatever it's right. been a lot of men based male-based fields um okay i want to flip through like a couple that are just hilarious because again they are all ones you could still do today okay. i would never do ever but tell you what we'll do i'll go ahead yeah. and, and let the next break yes. fly and you find the top what few. you consider <laughs> to be the best of it's wake up wyoming i was just saying to the lady alex it smells like the heat's on because this when the heat first kicks on for the season it's a weird it's smell. Definitely what that smell is. Yeah, that's <laughs> kind of, but, but okay, finally the heater's kicked on, which means we're going to be getting into the, okay, here it comes. <laughs> All right, fine. You were digging through, Lady Alex, the, what, McCall's Magazine, you said? Yep, McCall's Magazine from 1958. Okay. On the 129 ways to get a husband. <laughs> Just what every young female needs to have. Sure. Because we all want to be married, apparently. Uh, t- uh, apparently, everybody <laughs> apparently. does. Apparently. Yeah. Okay, so, and again, they're categorized. Um, so, for where to find him, um, my favorite one or two is the read obituaries and find the eligible. Oh, ones. really? <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the movie? Uh, what was it? What was the one where they were going to weddings to try to pick up women? Oh, uh, it was a comedy yep. movie. And at the end of it, they decided, forget that. We're going to the funerals. <laughs> They're just cleaning up. Exactly. Yeah, okay. So there's that idea. Just but read the newspaper. Just read the obituaries yeah, and see right. who just and recently just died. And catch them as soon as the wife dies. Make sure you're the rebound. Because he's either <laughs> really happy or really sad about it. Either way, you got That's him. True. That's so, true. yeah. Rebound hard. Well, of course, um, if he's really happy about it, you probably don't want to be with him. I mean, he's he a better wife he, this time. He might have been the cause of the death. She, you, you're just saying. Mm, fair. Okay. Fair, okay. Yeah. Um, also, where to find him. I like this one because... It's dumb, but I think I'd be great at this one. Get yeah. lost at football games. Oh yeah. Um, so that actually like it sounds ridiculous, but I think that's that's a total movie meet cute. That's the kind of thing you see in okay. movies. Like the girl doesn't really know who she is and gets found, but it. But and I would be adorable lost at sports games. Okay. Okay. I don't would... people do that also <laughs> in grocery stores and at Walmart? Yes. They act like they're looking for mm-hmm. something, and then somebody comes along and. Okay, and I have actually been victim of that one in reverse, and really? I, I don't love it happening to me in reverse. Okay. So I'm, you know what? Never mind. Don't do that one. Yeah. Because I don't like dealing with. Well, no, wait a second. Now you look adorable doing that, but the other person <laughs> doesn't. I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> that's right. Okay. So don't come over telling me <laughs> that you're lost or you need right, something right. just to talk to me. I don't okay. want to be bothered. <laughs> I'm unapproachable. So all right, right. It's good. It's good. Oh, also be friendly to ugly men. That's, that's <laughs> a no- literally it just says that. Is that why you're nice to me? <laughs> uh, something like that. Yes, okay. Um, how to let him know you're there. Those are my top ones. Yeah. Is how to let him know you're there. You stumble when you walk into the room he's in. Okay, because just look like something. Because drunk all the time is a good thing. Yes, it. just look something, something that's attention getting. Yeah. Okay. Um, but if you're doing that every time he walks in the room? No. What kind of problem You would have, have to come up with something original. But basically, I think what they're trying to say is do something that's attention-getting. Yeah, Stumble yeah. the first time, next time well, find okay, something. So a few notes later is the next thing you can do to let him know you're there, which is to stand in the corner and cry softly. 
he'll come over to ask what's wrong. Oh, God, Or if that's he's smart, getting, he might just totally avoid you. That's getting really manipulative yeah, at that point. That's the pr this whole thing is manipulative. Yeah. The whole thing. That's the all this whole thing is. Because yeah, okay. the next one is, actually, I do this all the time. And this, I am manipulating all of you. You bake tasty apple pies and bring to the office for eligible bachelors. I see. I bake for everybody, let alone the bachelors. So. Yeah. So it doesn't was me. really count. You're just doing it for everybody no, involved. No, I don't do it because I like yeah. you. I do it because I like to bake. Okay. That's fine. Um, to look good to him, this is another favorite. It just flat out says, go on a diet if you need to. <laughs> <laughs> no subtlety there. I know. Just, yeah, just go on a diet. Yeah. But also order your steak rare. For some reason, that's important. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you're supposed to look butch or tough. I don't. But you can also tell when people have either been married or dating long enough because they no longer care about those things. Right. Yeah. The pre I don't know. Um, uh. There might have been one more that I really love. Um, oh, if um, if your mother is fat, tell him you take after your father. If your father is also fat, tell yes. him you're adopted. Don't, I would say, make yes. sure that the relationship is established well enough before you introduce him to the parents. Uh, because yeah, no. I You're engaged by the time I introduce my parents, okay? Yeah. It can be two years later, and then they meet the parents. Right, because if no, he no, gets no. a look no. at what mom looks like and mom is not all that good looking, <laughs> he's going to... Then you say, it's okay, I'm better looking. Cancel the whole thing is what he's out. doing. Okay. Yeah. Um... Don't re resist the urge to make him over at least before marriage. So pretend he's okay so until you marry him and then try to fix it. Let me get that it. one I feel like straight. people have dealt with that a lot in relationships. Sooner or later, you <laughs> women are kind of trying to redo us. Um, but we're already on that diet that you wanted us on, Glenn, Okay. So. so it's all fair after that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, um, when I think of makeover, I don't just think of clothes. Because I don't mind if I'm... Oh, no, I know what you mean. A total moral, moral personality Yes, exactly makeover. right. Because I don't mind if I'm out on a date with or if I'm seeing somebody and they decide, hey, I think you look good in this kind of a shirt. Fine. Right. I love doing that. I love complimenting people. Yeah. But maybe the uh, maybe us trying to make over your personality is revenge for the diets. Yeah. And the fact that we're supposed to apparently also supposed to wear high heels. Right. They make us more attractive, according to this article. Unless you're shorter than me, then I can't wear my high heels. Right. Because, okay. Well, now, that's something else that uh, women... Don't want to feel bad about yourself. Women who are, are already tall as it is, I, you know, they don't want to wear high heels to be taller than the man because some men get insecure <laughs> about that. That's your problem. That's Well, but some men are that way. So if you're interested in that guy, you wouldn't want to wear heels that put you... Head, you know, at least a little bit above him. See, and I say this having nothing to base it on because I'm short. 5'3 at best. Yeah. More like 5'2 if we're being honest. Yeah. So I don't know what that world is, but right. that's okay. All right. That's okay. Um, I'm just going to end probably with probably the favorite one, another favorite. A lot of these are favorites, though. Yeah. Is um, point out to him that the death rate of single men <laughs> is twice that of married men. <laughs> So, and he could be next. If he yeah. Just <laughs> be you. There you go. I was waiting that's, for that that's part. Why I just and got you, there, could, you could be next but, year. Um, is okay. this going to be on Wake Up Wyoming? Do we have this thing linked? It's not a new, new. No, we can, what, what I think we should do here is I got the, the video part of it. Okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and get that put up. You put up the story and say whatever you want to okay. say about it. But here's my real question for you. When you look at those, does it really change? I think we're, we were talking earlier. The technology has changed, mm -hmm. but how we do this hasn't. No, Aren't we still no. doing the same things? I would even say some of the ages have changed because women tend to get married as do, as do men later in life. Mm -hmm. We used to, I mean, I, I can show you, you know, uh, marriage records from back when people were getting married in their teenage years. Basically, as soon as the young lady was fertile. Right, a lot of my family, same thing. Yeah, yeah get same. her married immediately. Get them out of the house, get them married. Now, though, they're still coming home from college in their late 20s, early 30s, and staying at home with mom and dad and not married yet. It's it, They don't get married until well into their 30s. Mm -hmm. now, the of career course, thing has suddenly come first. Career thing yeah. has gotten so much bigger. Part of that, though, we can also say we're living longer. We're not dying True. by our 40s. You don't have the fear of hitting 40, yeah. That's yeah, true. we're dying in our 80s and so on. So I don't think it's as important, but still. The way we meet people, the only thing I think that has changed is technology. Mm -hmm. Well, because well, you asked me at the very beginning of this hour, at the top of the hour, um, which ones on this list just wouldn't work anymore. And yeah. Honestly, I mean, I'm reading a very condensed list on my phone right now because I didn't want to have to flip through all 129 mm -hmm. options. I wrote down maybe 20 that I liked because there are so many more that I'm thinking of even right now that I remember reading that are still good. Like they just yeah. look up the list and it doesn't it doesn't stop. But like I said earlier, technically all of these could still work. I mm -hmm. mean, I don't think they ever worked. They shouldn't ever work. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Except for getting a dog and walking it. That will always work. 
Um, but that still goes back. This is a conversation you and I and we're having before we found this article earlier this week. You and I were having a mm-hmm. conversation about it's really awkward if you do if you're single and you see someone who you think might be interesting, mm-hmm. and so you want to go and approach them. How in the world do you do and that? There's no right answer. There for that. is absolutely no <laughs> right answer. Because everyone's going to react differently. Like sure. like I just said to you, um, the getting lost at football games. People like having questions or faking a question or faking mm-hmm. a concern to get my attention drives right. me crazy because I don't want to be bothered. Some people might love that because it does work for other people. I guarantee okay. it. I will tell you what it's actually does work v- very well for me, mm. and that is showing no interest whatsoever. <laughs> that does not work for me. No, see, if, I, if I'm showing the woman absolutely no interest in her, she wants to know why I'm showing no interest in her. See, and I'm not interesting enough to deserve that, so I don't okay. really care. But I don't pay see, attention to that. I guess maybe it depends <laughs> on who you are, though. It's what your expectations are, okay. what you think of yourself. As probably. the more, and, and, and I, I say this as a compliment, as the more modern woman, mm. how do you approach the guy? And is it any different from what you would read there? We've talked about this. I don't. Yeah. I just, you just don't? No. You just. I, ca- I compliment clothing, apparently. I like, to, okay, I like yeah. to do compliments, and I try to do it a lot with anybody I encounter. Yeah. So that's probably, like, I will pull up some compliment to just go over and chat and say something nice. Because okay. then at worst, I've made them feel good and said something nice. Sure. And I carry on with you my least, day. Okay, you broke the ice. Yep. And, I, and then I never see them again and carry on with my day. At best, yeah. it starts conversation. Okay. It doesn't have to do anything. That's not really a method. It's just something I okay. have started doing but once that in a goes while. Back, yeah, general. see, but this goes back to are you someone who's actually looking, which is the whole point of the article. Exactly. I know people who want to get married, and that's fine with right. them. And then I think there's people like you and I were like, yeah, this is, whatever. Yeah, I don't, and that's exactly the case. If it happens, that's nice, but we're not really. And that changes absolutely how you're going to approach it and how you're going to react. Yeah, okay. So. All right. Or just go through these 129 reasons. Uh, ways sure. To Photo do it. magazine back in the 19 what? 1958. 1958. Okay. So next week, though, well, now that you're married, how do you keep your man? The seven ways to keep the man in the 1950s. That's what those ladies <laughs> I told you about earlier. That one is a little more alarming. Like 